Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm so excited to share with you that you can now import blog posts from any CMS. CMS meaning content management system, something like WordPress, Wix or Square for example. I don't know about you but I've been thinking this morning oh I really need to redo my website but I really don't want to move it because I've got so many blog posts. Before you know it I've got the task on my table to create a video about the new blog post importer. So if you're in the same situation there's no more excuse for procrastination you can now import all your blogs with a few clicks of a button. Let's do that. All right, first click on sites on the left, select blogs at the top, then select the blog site. Okay, so if you don't have that yet, you have to create one here by clicking the plus new button. And then you would basically set up your blog. Since we already have a site, let's just go back and let's select this blog site. Then here at the top right, you can select the drop down menu and the new post, which is then plus new post, which is normal, right? The usual one or input blog post from URL, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, again, you can import from any CMS out there. Let's select it. Oh, and by the way, you have to make sure that there's a sitemap out there that you have submitted a sitemap for this particular blog and also the posts, right? To check that, you would just go and type your blog.com, right? And then slash sitemap.xml. And that will give you a report of if you have a sitemap or not. Now let's type the blog URL of our blog's homepage. So that'd be the main URL, the root domain. It's not slash something. It's the main, the core root domain, okay? And then here it's requested for you to place the recent blog post URL. Okay. So let's place that here. And on the right hand side, you can see that it pulls the content of that blog post. Okay. But then you can also click that little preview icon here to go and preview that website. But we're just going to continue setting this up. And down here, you got to select the content management system, the CMS, where you're pulling the content from. If it's WordPress, you select WordPress. You can select HubSpot or not sure. In this case, we're going to select WordPress. And at the bottom right, hit continue. Now it scans the blog posts. Okay, you can see this blog scan is in progress. It may take a few minutes or a few hours to complete depending on the number of blog posts being scanned. Right now, there's only one blog post being scanned, so it should be fairly quick. And as stated, once it's finished, you'll receive an in-app notification and an email. Amazing. Now, in the meantime, you can also go back and you can go and check the status of your blog's homepage. Let's click back top left. Click on imported content here at the top and you can see the status has been set to scan ended. You can see the blog URL, you can see the import date, you can see there hasn't been any errors. Let's click and see the results. Nice. So now it has pulled the content and now you have to basically map your blog content. Now you can say, hey, what is the title of the blog post shown in the preview? It is digital products made easy, follow this simple URL framework, yada, 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 automatically. So the first one, it is the first one, right? Perfect. Let's scroll down. You can map the author. That is obviously me. Let's select 2020 because that's the actual published date. You can also say published date isn't displayed, don't import it. Or you can select find published date with a CSS selector. Then you want to select the featured image. Where is the featured image of the blog post shown in the preview at the top? Pretty much, right? You can select featured image isn't displayed, don't import it or find featured image with a CSS selector. We're going to keep this image selected. Then we're going to close this window. You can see the, the mapping we've done. They have already marked with green and you can see there's two more tasks to do. So let's do that. Post body content. Where is the post body content of the blog post shown in the preview? Then you can click through it, preview, next preview again, look through it if it's good. And it will not be 100%, you know, exactly formatted and stuff. So it's been recommended that you go before you publish this blog post, you will obviously go in and check it and format it a little bit again. Okay, let's move on. Category tag. Where's the category tag of the blog post shown in this preview? Again, you can select maybe there wasn't a category tag. Don't import it or find a category tag of CSS selector. So you can always go back later and add more tags and keywords and all of that, of course, right? So at the bottom right, you can hit save and rescan or you can continue. Okay, let's hit continue. Let's click on imported content again. And here you can see the import is in progress. Let's refresh. And here you go. You can already see the status has been done again. Let's click on review results. And actually it has imported all of the blog posts now that are hosted on that main root domain. Remember when I talked to you about import the main root domain. So it now has pulled all the blog posts that are hosted on that main domain. Okay. But you can now bulk select them here or you can select them one by one. If you wanted to go through and do one each individually, I'm just going to select all of them. So you click bulk mark here and then you have to again select all of them because down here it only goes until 10. You can see there's three pages, right? 
So then just select all. Now we have selected all 26. Okay. You see that also the bottom right here, 26 posts selected, then hit continue. Hello. And now you can see it shows up. All of these blog posts show up under blog posts, not under imported content. If you go uh, imported content, it was like the main URL, right? If you go back to blog posts, now you have the 26 blog posts imported that if you just saw a minute ago, you can see four pages down here. All right. So please note, they're also automatically set to draft, which is good because you always want to, you know, check and edit them again before you actually set anything live. Okay. So if you want to do that, you click the three dots here, you click edit post, and then here you have all the content and you can start editing it. The formatting has been pulled. The images have been pulled. Nice. And that's really amazing. So I know my website has already been moved. That's so good. Well, that's it already. I hope you really like this new feature as much as I do. And I will see you in the next video.